the only pre-workout I really take these days, sometimes I'll have a supplement in one, is some simple coffee. And check this out right here. I bought this at Walmart the other day. Epsom salt. It's supposed to help you recover. I don't know. It might be kind of folk medicine, but I did try it out. And it has menthol in it. So it feels like you're taking a bath in Vicks Vapor Rub, if you guys know what that is. But how is it going, guys? Right now it's Monday morning, getting ready to go do a push workout. I'm going to film it along the way. And I'm almost running late. I'm supposed to be there in like five minutes. Ryan is waiting on me at the gym probably, so I will see you guys there. All right, so here we are back in the gym. You guys are going to see me right here get shown up on incline bench when Ryan goes. He's going to basically say, hey, I like your weight that you're doing, but I'm going to add like double it and do just as many reps. So look forward to that. But I really don't care about other people in the gym. Usually just focusing on myself and the workout logbook that I use. I write it all down. And speaking of that, you guys will see it later on in this video. If you stick around at the end, I'm going to show you guys everything that is in my gym bag. You see the wrist wraps that I'm using. I'll show you those. I'll show you what brand they are and the belt that I wear sometimes. So stick around to the end of the video. And here he is, 315 on the incline, doing it clean. Look at those reps right there. Just taking me to school right here. And one of these days, we're going to do a dual com on one of these workout videos because I just realized this. He's never said a word in a video. He does talk, believe it or not. And I'm trying to get him to make his own YouTube channel. So hopefully that is coming soon. Moving right along here with the workout video. After we did four sets on the incline bench, went over and did some incline hammer presses. This machine, I really don't know. Some days I like it, some days I don't. It's really weird, but it felt pretty good today, and I was just focusing on the incline movements today, and that kind of goes into the next point that I'm saying here. I've kind of stopped doing vertical pressing exercises like the overhead press. I'll do them sometimes, but my new approach on this is I'm doing so many vertical presses as is, or at least at an incline, that I'm working my front delt. So I will just throw in a couple sets of some lateral dumbbell raises to hit the lateral head of my dumbbell. Of oh, my dumbbell, no, <laughs> of my deltoid. And I haven't really noticed a difference either way, and I've been doing that for a while. So moving along with the video, just to save some time, what we did here was we actually supersetted some cable flies with the lateral dumbbell raises that I was just talking about. This is not one of those exercises where you need to grab the heaviest possible dumbbells and flail them up. You can do it controlled with lighter weight and probably still get the same effect, even though you will see some people grab the heaviest dumbbells and just throw them around. And speaking of that movement, one thing that I started doing yesterday was I flexed my glutes. I usually flex my glutes when I'm doing curls, but when I did it for that, it allowed me to stay a little bit more upright and have some more control in my lateral delt. And then we did three exercises for triceps. As you guys saw, we did the flat pushdowns, and then we went over to the dip machine. Good exercise right here. I've been doing it pretty much once a week on all of my push workouts, and then I finished off with these rat tail pull downs, or that's what I call them at least. We've been calling them the rat tail because it looks like a little ponytail that some people will grow. Not really sure about how nice that looks, but that's what we call it, the rat tail. All right guys, so I just walked in the door from the gym. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage, and instead of showing my post-workout meal, I thought I would show you guys what I keep in my gym bag, just what kind of belt I use, what kind of knee sleeves that I use, the wrist wraps that I use. I get questions on those all of the time. So I have them all laid out in the floor of my office. And before I get into this, I just wanna say, I don't use a single affiliate code on any of this. I don't get paid for it. And one thing that I don't really like about YouTube, or I guess it's not that I don't like it, I just think it's against my ethics to throw out five or six affiliate codes a video. It's like, how much can the viewers take? If the viewers lose your trust, what all do you have? If I want people to buy something from me, honestly, you guys can buy my cookbook, but I'm not gonna be pushing stuff that I don't necessarily believe in or that might not even work just to make a couple bucks. So I'll have the products down below in the description or at least the name, but just know I'm not profiting off of showing you guys this at all. So the gym bag that I use is a simple Under Armour bag. I think it was around $30. Personally, I don't recommend it. I haven't been able to find a good gym bag that doesn't rip open after about a year or so. So any suggestions, let me know down below in the comments. The knee sleeves that I use, they're actually inside out right now, but they're called SBD. 
knee sleeves. I got them at Anderson Powerlifting. Really like those. People who use the Ray-Ban or these ones. My buddy Brandon Campbell suggested these, so I picked them up. And right here, if you've been following my videos for a long time, you know that I love to log all of my workouts in this book. Got it on Amazon, $10 for it. Really not bad at all, and it allows me to track my progression, make sure I'm getting stronger, which will lead to muscle gains in the long run. Right up above that, I have my slingshot hip circle. This is just to warm up my hips before squats, so kind of goes along with the knee sleeves here. I've got a tripod, just a little bendable tripod to film some of the shots in the gym. Up here I've got a slingshot from howmuchyoubench.net. Haven't really played around with it much, but a lot of people like it. They sent me this, so I really do appreciate them sending me that. They make a lot of good products. And down here I've got my belt. This is the Enzer lever belt. I've had it for over two years. It still works perfectly, just like the day that I got it. Below that I have a dead wedge. I use this on deadlifts. It just allows you to take the plates off easier. I think it was around $19, which seems really expensive for a piece of plastic, but it comes in handy. You pay for what you get, which is a lot of convenience. Here I've got VersaGrips that I use on deadlifts sometimes, and as well as my pull workouts. And over here in this jumble of blue cords or whatever it is, I have the Gangster Wraps by How Much You Bench. Those are good for bench press. And then I also have the Mini Gangsters, which are used more for bodybuilding movements. I've been using these lately. They're a lot shorter and not as tight as the original Gangster Wraps. And my camera just died, so I had to plug it in. Here is an overview once more, and I've got the last thing right here on the floor. These are just some Thermabands. They're rubber, they're good to warm up with. I do a lot of shoulder stuff with those before my push workouts. And that's it for this video. So if you liked it, you can always give it a like down below. If you wanna check out some more videos, on the left are my top three ab exercises, and on the right is my latest full day of eating video. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you next video. <laughs>